என்னுடைய எங்கர் ஏஜில் லைக் எனி ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ வாட் இஸ் ஃப்ளைங் எபவ் யூ வில் அட்ராக்ட் யுவர் அட்டென்ஷன் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஹவ் ஐ காட் அட்ராக்ட் டு மிஷினரி <laughs> that way we were used to have some kind of shall i say head weight in, in that in those days now i coming back to the project work when we pass out the engineering degree we study theory of machines uh, fluid dynamics heat transfer combustion applied thermodynamics applied mechanics and so on and so forth but each one is an identity by itself they are not correlatable to the other subjects not in fully so when we pass out in engineering we can say i can understand applied thermodynamics i can understand theory of machines but i don't think i can call myself as a qualified engineer if i have to call myself as a qualified engineer then i have to certainly have the qualification to understand engineering as a whole in the project which you take up for example when i took the project it was there was design that design involved applied the load dynamics applied mechanics everything then there was a fabrication so machines and things like that then there was an assembly there was a testing etc etc so in the process all the subjects which i mentioned there are connected and then i prove myself in understanding the subject as well as in exhibiting it that is how i understand that i am a qualified engineer i also understand that the people who are after the job see they want a job as soon as your course is completed family situations parental complications and social conditions you need money so you must get a job now that job today it appears to me primarily in the it sector so you are tempted you get a placement in the it sector you get salary very attractive salary so you are naturally happy but i am sorry i have a different view about this particular matter yes you got a job you got a salary but how about your future how are you going to manage now what is important today is that you really look at it the it job majority of the it jobs i am not saying all not applies not to programmers and other things but majority of them are just additions and subtractions or data logging or data entry you there your innovative mind is skill without your knowledge you become a slave and you don't understand what your future is i am not saying that the entire it job is bad i am saying that what is required for you is a future which will guarantee you two things one is the job satisfaction and second thing is a permanent future <laughs> we can help you to start something on your own or it can sustain yourself for the rest of your life now when you really look at this you will find some gap is there i was having some discussions with some of your uh, directors and then teachers all the people i get an impression i mean everybody shares my view but still i just want to say that the important thing in your life is whether you have an innovative idea whether you have an idea which can be suddenly used for yourself what is the use of going and working for somebody else when you yourself can use this idea for your own future see so many startups are there 
I am not saying that all the startups are good. Young engineering mind will certainly find out certain job, certain ideas which are innovative. It can be a um, closing making machine or it can be uh, a model of Chandrayaan or uh, it can be something which will be your own idea. You can become one of five lakhs, get a job, try to get some salary and then keep going, get married, get a house. Ah, try to do something which will satisfy you. You will become another Kalam. Kurain the Vilay, Nurain the Taram, Tangal Tevi the Manitum, Oregon, Jay Chandran Textiles.